Hi, I'm Valerie Chaudine, and I am super excited about my new stencils made by Stencil Girl Products. In this video, I am going to be working with the Christian Symbols stencils. I'm going to make a painted paper by putting a coat of gesso down on this deli paper. I could also use tracing paper or another type of paper, or I could work directly in my Bible. I'm going to be making a kind of pattern piece of paper that would be very suitable for the end papers in the Bible or possibly for cutting and pasting into a margin. There, let that dry and come back. Okay, it's dry and I am going to rub some gelato in the surface. So I'm picking these colors. They're mostly metallic, a little darker and warmer, kind of like an aged document is the look I'm going for. And I might add some brighter colors too, but as my base, here's what I'm gonna add. They're all from the Dolce 2 set, iced chai, gold champagne, iced coffee. Putting artwork in your journaling Bible can be scary. I know, because I remember when my first journaling Bible arrived, it took days for me to actually do something in it. And so I did start with doing my artwork on a piece of deli paper or tracing paper and gluing it in with a glue stick. And that was really helpful to get my feet wet. I wrote things out lightly with a pencil and then with pen on top of it. So if you're just beginning Bible journaling, I would recommend doing that if, if it's holding you back. This type of painting and painting papers is a great way to loosen up and to kind of learn the materials and let your creativity flow in a very no risk situation by doing it on a painted paper. You can see that I'm being very loose with this application of gelato on this paper, just smudging it around where it drags a little bit, a line in there. Um, I didn't plan on it at first, but then I thought, well, let's just go, go with that and see where it takes. I'm trying to make an age type of look here, and I think I kind of get that with this. Once again, I'm free to experiment because I'm just doing it on a plain piece of paper. The truth is, a technique like this, you just can't mess it up. It is messy and it's supposed to be messy, so the main thing is to have fun. I'm adding some blue snow cone gelato because I just want a little coolness in there. And I think it looks pretty good. I'm taking a baby wipe and I'm going to rub it on the stencil to lift off the gelato. It will lift off because the gelatos are water soluble. I blot it with a paper towel because the baby wipe can be sometimes kind of wet and this one is so I'm just blotting off my paper so it won't smear. The Christian faith has rich symbolism. We can find many of early Christianity symbols preserved in the catacombs of Rome with other cemeteries as well. Other symbols have developed and have been redeemed in cultures as simple representations of their world interpreted through the eyes of faith. The fish is the first known symbol of Christianity, possibly drawn in the dirt or sand as a code during the time when Christians were persecuted in Rome. The title, Jesus Christ, Son of God, Savior, if you take the first letter of each of those words, in Greek, it's the same word as fish. Fish and doves were the most common symbols in early Christianity. The six-pointed star is rich in meanings. One meaning is the creator star. Six points are six days of creation and the seventh day of rest is the center of the star and place of peace. 
In Christianity, Jesus Christ, the Messiah, is the creator and center, our peace. It also symbolizes the unity of God and humanity. The triangle with the long base at the bottom, that symbolized the Trinity, the triune God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And the other triangle represents humanity, body, soul, and spirit. God with us, God in us. The Messianic seal is a symbol found in Jerusalem and believed to be a symbol of the early church that combines the oldest symbol of Judaism, the seven-flamed menorah, and the oldest symbol of Christianity, the fish. The base of the menorah and the tail of the fish form a six-pointed star in the middle, signifying God coming to earth as a man through the Jews to bring all people into relationship with God. The cross and the Celtic cross are symbols of Jesus' sacrifice for our sin and our redemption. The circle in the Celtic cross represents unity. We are united with God through Christ, made complete and whole. The circle also symbolizes God, God dying on the cross for us. The circle in the Celtic cross also has a practical function of strengthening the arms of the stone crosses. The flame signifies the presence of God, Moses in the burning bush in Exodus 3, the presence of God, the Holy Spirit. In Acts 2, flames of fire rested on each person during Pentecost, bringing power and presence. Now that I've lifted off the gelato with the stencil and the baby wipe, I'm now going to put some stencil on with metallic paint, gold and copper, I'm using a cosmetic sponge and I'm basically doing the same thing I did with the baby wipe except I'm putting paint on instead of lifting the pigment off. I mentioned before that a circle symbolizes unity, wholeness, and God. The three interconnected circles, making a trinity symbol on the inside, represent the mystery of each person of the trinity as whole and at the same time united as one God. The dove is a universal symbol of peace, especially when accompanied by an olive branch. In Genesis 8, the dove came back to Noah, showing that the dove had found land by bringing an olive branch in his mouth. The presence of the Holy Spirit descended like a dove on Jesus at his baptism. The Trinity Celtic Knot is a symbol redeemed by saints like St. Patrick, who associated it with the shamrock as a symbol of the Trinity, with the never-ending knot symbolizing eternity and three sections that come together as one, representing the triune God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The anchor is a symbol of hope in God and our security in God. Lambs and sheep are used a lot in the Bible as symbols of God's relationship with us and who Christ is, Jesus, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. We are also like sheep or lambs that have gone astray, but also know our shepherd's voice. The crown has so many meanings. Some are honor and blessing and glory. Christ is king and ruler. We are royalty children of the Most High God. The lion represents Jesus as king, lion of the Israeli tribe of Judah. Victory. Christ's messianic reign is symbolized with the supernatural juxtaposition of the lion and the lamb and their seemingly opposite characteristics. The Bible is rich with symbolism and beauty. If you would like, a downloadable PDF of the meaning of the Christian symbols that go with the stencils I designed made by Stencil Girl Products, please visit my website at ValerieShodine.com. While you're there, you can sign up and see a free video on how to get wrinkles out of your Bible journal pages, how to put a protective coat on your Bible page, and a few tips on how to keep your Bible in good condition check out my exciting new e-course, 
Bible journaling with stencils and more. It's a creative and a spiritual journey we're going on together. We will be using the stencils from the Stencil Girl products. You don't have to know how to draw to make beautiful Bible pages. God bless you in your creative and spiritual journey.